tough. That's definitely tough. Carlos is the first home that really close to helping since maybe game four. Game four, five. Is this as good as this team can be? I mean, I'm not going to just give you that that bite because I don't know. <laughs> we got to do it multiple times in a row. You know, we had a big time win in, um, in, in Phoenix and then played good for for three quarters in Utah and then let the rope go. And then we came in here and then we beat them by 20. So it's a little bit of a roller coaster, but you know, if we can just gain form, you know, I love what Coach did today, starting the big, the big lineup. I thought that was uh, a good call. <clears throat> and when we're at full strength, you know, it's great. You know, definitely having uh, Delon back and Rui because uh, our second unit has kind of been really depleted for the past month uh, in terms of trying to find buckets. But Rui came in, gave us 21. Big great. So. Correct me if I'm wrong. You were on the floor to begin the second quarter, correct? Uh, yes. So that lineup you guys had was could start in the first eight teams. How vulnerable was that? What was the lineup? Corey was out there. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, the second unit. Corey, Delon, me, for uh, yeah. probably Taj. Really, okay. I think it really was out there. That lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, um, we got it done tonight. You know, I'm not gonna hype up us. Hype up that second unit stretch, but we played good tonight. What went so well for you individually? Say it again. So what went so well for you individually? Uh, I mean, I just put my heart ahead on every night. You know, I, I come ready to play. Um, you know, I got something to prove myself every single night. You know, I'm ready and I'm available for my teammates. So, um, you know, I have the same mentality every night. So. Did y'all talk about having a good start in that first quarter because you guys got. 20 paints and the points like like that. Yeah, I mean, um, the Kings aren't, you know, the greatest uh, defensive team, and we knew that we could get the paint and just exploit a little bit, especially playing big. Um, you know, really allowed us to have some different mismatches out there and um, really attack their paint. Mm -hmm. and you just said it too, you know, you got two 6'10 people in there, you 6'9", you got a 7'3 guy in there. You guys knew y'all could affect them with your size. Exactly, yeah. We knew we could affect them with our size um, and just oppose our, our will on them all night, 48 minutes. Uh, I, should, I showed you that stat as far as you being one of the four players that have those accolades throughout the season. How rewarding has this season been for you so far, just on a personal level? Uh, it's cool right now, but I got I got like 40, 50 more games to go. So um, I'm just trying to be as great as I can be. Uh, I've been that way since coming into my career. Um, I love basketball, and I'm just trying to get better every night. That's my goal. It's always been my goal. So, was King to uh, your assessment on Fox and just how he's been playing this season? Oh, Fox has been phenomenal. Um, <clears throat> I'm very, very happy for him. You know, he's a guy that's been uh, through some dark times in Sacramento, and I bet this season's been a real revelation for uh, Sac fans and him. You know, it's you just seen the environment out there. You know, the Wizards came to town, and uh, it was damn near a sellout crowd is rowdy, and it probably hasn't really been that way in Sacramento for quite some time. So, I think. Um, you know, I'm really, really happy for him. He, he's, he's long overdue uh, his credit, and he's one of the top guards in the league, and I'm glad people are seeing it now. So. Thanks, Coos. Yeah, appreciate you. Thank you.